gypsies welcome back to part two of my Dollar Tree haul I went shopping on my lunch break it's now evening time I did not have time to do a Dollar Tree haul at lunch so it's evening time I've did part one because I got so much goodies in there I had to break it down into two sections to keep it from being so long and even so the first one was like 17 minutes so anyway I have three bags four bags of stuff four bags wait three bags yeah three bags of stuff here to go through and there's a lot of little things in here so i got a lot of goodies and my mind was on stocking stuffers and stuff like that so i'm going to start off with these right here these are the biscoff and these are the kind that they serve on like the airlines um i went to a Oh, what was it? A seminar down in Orlando last year, and they served these, and I was a keto, so I kind of cheated, I believe, <laughs> and I actually had some, and because my daughter said, if they offer you peanuts or cookies, get the cookies because they're so good, and I'm like, okay, so they give you a little pack of these on your flight, and they are the bomb, but my daughter loves them, and her and her friend, um, Kristen, they are always flying all over the place so I went ahead and got one of each of these packs you get how many how many is in here snack packs six six two-piece packs in here and these are for their stocking or their gift bag should I say now since I've changed my mind but that's perfect and they're the perfect size for a stocking or a gift bag okay I got this for Jack's stocking um, I may just cut these into three different ones. It's the suckers, the or the popping candy with a lollipop, and there's the uh, green reindeer. There's the snowman and the Santa Claus. I know that my boys love these as well, so I might possibly cut these into three packs and put one in each of their stockings because I don't like for her to have too much candy anyway because it makes her just a little bit wild and crazy. Okay, I've been seeing all you YouTubers out there, guys, haul these and you're all talking about when you send Christmas cards, you're gonna be stamping them and I'm like, I wanna stamp Christmas cards too. So I got them, stampers, and these are, <laughs> look at the middle one. It's the red truck. Um, I don't know if it's in red. I guess it'd be in red, right? The truck, you got a gingerbread man. You've got a snowman. You've got a reindeer. I love Santa. A present. A Christmas tree and a snowflake. So these are going to be fun to play around with. Does it say it like the... Oh, I was trying to see if it said red or green ink, and if I was in the house, I would open one and stamp something so you can see. I'm not in the house, but I'm still opening one up so I can stamp something, and you can see. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, looks like that. This one is the gingerbread man. Okay. I'm doing the back of the package. How adorable. Okay, hold on, guys. You're going to love this. Look how bright and vibrant that is. These are gonna be so much fun to play around with on Christmas cards. I can't wait. I gotta keep them away from Jack. She'll be trying to steal them. Anyway, I would share, just kidding. Okay, and then I grabbed two packs of these. These are for um, like my candy jar, which I had to get some chocolatey things. Um, I'll probably be filling it up multiple times until Christmas. So I went ahead and got another pack of the Andes simply because my husband loves these. I might just give them to him and forget that. And these are the Andes that are Cherry Jubilee, cherry jubilee Thins. And I bet these are good. So these will be perfect. Mixed together, the red and the green would look so festive, guys. Look how pretty. I've never tried those. I did see... Um, <clears throat> somebody was trying them I can't remember now but anyway there's those and then this is a good deal um, these are the Russell Stover's Santa Wonderland these are the itty bitty chocolate mini Santas so I got two of these these are for my daughter and her roommate Kristen 
for them because uh, they're Russell Stovers and they're itty bitty Santas. Aren't they cute? Look at those. The packaging is adorable. I mean, the green and the red and the Santa and just the itty bitty Santas. So I remember having some of these around Easter time. They were itty bitty bunnies, I believe. But these are going to be really good and perfect for stockings. I am really doing good on stockings this year, guys. I'm really doing good. And the other day, I bought one of these, and I said I didn't know if I was going to give it to Felicia or Kristen. So, uh, I got another one, so they can both have one of these. And it is the Russell Stover's Caramel, and there's four pieces in here. So, you know those are going to be really, really tasty. Okay, two more bags, guys. And isn't this so much fun? I'm having a total blast. Total blast. Okay. By the way, happy Friday, and I hope everyone is doing good. I know it's not everyone's Friday, but happy Friday nonetheless. Okay. Let's see. I got so much stuff. I found these. I, were ho I was hoping that I would find these because I saw people hauling them, and this is the 10-pack of fruit snacks, which is such a good deal because usually they only have the six packs there and it's frozen. Who doesn't like Olaf? Look at that. You know, I've never seen this movie, um, but I know Olaf's name. So anyway, frozen. I know that's Elsa. I don't know who that is, but I got two boxes of those simply because that was just a really good deal. And I think what I'm going to do is take another one of them clear storage containers that stack and I'm going to put all 10 of these in one of those. So we'll have cookies, we'll have fruit snacks, and yeah. And then, this is something else I got for the candy bowl, or the candy dish, or maybe one of those things. I don't know. We have milk chocolate flavored balls from Palmer. And I just love the packaging. Look at that. I mean, they just look like Christmas balls. And they're cute. So those are going to go in one of those bowls. And I'll probably mix these up. These are from Palmer as well. And they're caramel or caramel Santas. And there's what they look like. And then, as you can see, and then here's a picture. It looks good. It has the caramel in there. So that'll be a good thing to put in one of those. Hmm. I thought I had my... Hang on. Okay. Next, this is something I'd never seen, and I, on my last video, I talked about the cleaning lady at our hospital. Um, I'm making her up a little basket, so I thought this would be a really cute thing to put in her basket. I've even got the basket here, so I'm going to put like a little pampering kit together for her, face masks, maybe a pair of warm fuzzy socks. I don't have those yet, but that's such a good idea. I'm going to add in there. And I've got a, well, I'll show you as I come across things because I did buy a couple things in there. Grab this for us. They did not have the reach, um, the purple or the blue that we normally get. So I went ahead and got the Colgate because we're on our last bottle and I don't want to run out. And then I grabbed this pizza sauce just for when I make homemade pizzas. Um, the little mini ones with the Dollar Tree crust. I will use this and just pepperoni and cheese. And then I'll make me and my husband the keto pizzas because he loves those. So, anyway, there's that. I've got one more bag, guys. Hang in there with me. We're at eight minutes. Okay, we're doing good. We are doing good. I'm starving, I have to say. Starving. I'm going to tie it off because I don't want it spilled. I don't want nobody peeking in. I didn't get a whole lot of stocking stuffers up here. Well, I mean, not for Jack. I remember getting some stuff, I think. I thought, oh, yeah. I remember now. <laughs> I remember. Okay, this is a good bag. Okay, first of all, I got this. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to do it. I don't know. Well, it says ages six and up, but... I could do it with Jack and show her how to do it, but I think it might just be a little bit too hard. I don't know, but it's a cross stitch kit and I just think it's adorable. And believe me, I would be a beginner at cross stitch. So I thought it'd be good for me to do, maybe to learn how to do it. And it has, look at these beautiful colors, purple, yellow, blue, pink. They're so pretty and vibrant. They only had one of these because I was actually thinking I might get one for my daughter and I'm still going to be on the lookout for her stocking for one of those. 
I found some Christmas stickers. Finally, I found some Christmas stickers. This is the Santa's or the Christmas stickers, 80 count. And I'm just gonna flip through, flip it through, and show you a few of the pictures. This will be so good on friend mail and on um, Christmas cards. Would you look? Would you just look? O M G. This is going to be so great on Christmas cards and on just Christmas packages in general. They're so adorable. And then this one here looks like this on the front with a gingerbread house. So I'm really hoping there's going to be... Oh, this is cute. Look at this. Would you just look? Oh, look how cute. I'm hoping there's going to be a gingerbread. Look at that Santa. He's cute. I'm looking to see if there's a gingerbread house or a gingerbread man. Surely there is. Surely, right? Surely. Well, hold on here. I mean, there's not one ginger, there's a little gingerbread man. But, oh well. Okay, not many gingerbread men, but a couple of these right here. But I just thought maybe with the uh, front looking like that, there would be more. But there's not, and that's okay. Okay, I got this ornament to hang on the tree. I thought it's really pretty, even if it didn't do something special, but it does something special. And, um, 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 okay, um hold on. Oh, I don't want to break it. Hold on. Just, just hold on. It does something special. They had one in the store and it was gorgeous. It changes all different colors. On off switch. Okay, where, okay. All I had to do is put my glasses on, right? Yes. There's off. Ha. Ha ha. <gasps> Look at that. I might get a couple more. I don't know. These are really, oh wow. I mean, can you, okay, you can probably see better. Look. I definitely want more. I want at least three more to have four total on the tree. Look at that, guys. Wow. It goes fast and then slow. LED glitter ornament is what it's called, and it's gorgeous. And it just turns off right here. You just do like that. There it goes. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so if you recall yesterday, I got some Halloween costumes for my granddaughter for it to play dress up with as a Christmas gift. And I said, I'm gonna find some jewelry to go along with that. So this is a seven pack of bracelets that I found. I'll include this in the gift. So it'll be like a box with all of those dresses in there. It'll have these bracelets in there. It'll have this three pack of beautiful necklaces, pink, purple, blue, and they're very pastel looking and pretty. And then after I got those, I saw these like for parties. And I thought that would be perfect for her just to play dress up with. And there's eight of these. So that's that will be a perfect gift. I'm so excited that I found those. And then this is gonna go in the goodie bag for the cleaning lady, Helen. So this is gonna be her pamper spa gift. That's going in. And also, I got this headband. It's from Scunchy, and I know she wears head headbands because me and her were talking about them one day. So I thought this was really pretty, and I felt like it would stay in place, and the colors are really pretty too. So that's going in, and I've never bought one of these ever. I really don't even know what it is. I've never had my glasses on in there, and it is a Age Defy Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. Instant three-in-one treatment. Okay. So it's a roller, you roll like under your eyes and stuff like that. And I know you guys have seen those. I've seen them probably every time I've went to Dollar Tree, never grabbed one. So I thought I'd go ahead and get one for her basket. So I'm excited. I grabbed this for my grandson's stocking. It is a little Sesame Street, no spill or spill proof cup, it has eight out, it's an eight ounce one and it's Cookie Monster. And I think that's a good thing for a one year old stocking. So yeah, here's a little manicure set. I got this for Miss Helen in her little spa kit. So that's cute. Here's something else I found in there. Look at that. 
It's a Christmas tree. It's not an ornament. It's just like to set around. LED Christmas tree. Let me move it back here so you can see it in the dark. Changes colors. It's beautiful. I may put it like on my side of the bed. Can you see it good? Yeah, this is really cute for a buck. I'm like, yes, please. Here's some more of those adorable bags. These are a little bit different. These are bigger. The other one was 30 count. These are 25 count, but they're called, they're calling them loot bags, but I mean, you couldn't get too awful much in here, but would you look at the print? Coffee cups, hot chocolate, whatever. Look at the print. There's Ziploc, so if you're gonna have a Ziploc baggie, it might as well be an adorable one for Christmas, right? I love it. Grab these for me. I love these kind of um, clips. And those middle ones are so pretty. Can you see the sparkle? And I don't have any brown clips, so I like that. And it's from the Scunchy brand, which we all know is a good brand. This is going to go into the basket, the spa basket for Miss Helen. And this is too. This is a pretty sparkly headband. I just thought that was really pretty. Grabbed another pack of batteries. Always need batteries. Um, this is one in the spa basket. It's the Q-Tex. It's the foot cream. And I'm also, I think I have a spare hand cream, hand and nail cuticle cream. And I'm going to put that in there as well. Okay, I got this for me, guys. I know, I know. It's a two-pack. I'll wear them together, I'm sure. But it's necklaces, it's a jingly bells, and I probably won't wear them until like the at least the week before Christmas, but I loved them. Loved them. I'm looking for the light up earrings, the great big ones. I'm looking for those. Those are cool. Okay, I found a couple of Christmas books. My grandson loves when we read or when he just loves to look through books. And these are the pop-up ones, and I always thought these were really cute. This one is the perfect Christmas tree. Look how cute, and then when you flip through, it does the little pop-up thing. Look how cute is that? I love it. And then I got this one, Noel the New Reindeer. These are just for Christmas. So look how cute, guys. So cute. Jackie and JJ will like those. I grabbed these for me. This is just uh, markers from Jot. And on one end, they're wide like this. On the other end, they're more narrow. And I love the colors. They're bright. They're pretty. And I'm always using markers. Another kitchen towel to hang. And if you can see the little red truck back there, it says, let it snow, which I'm all about. Go ahead, let it snow. I love snow. So that's going to look cute hanging on one of my kitchen cabinets. And this is one in Jack's little um, dress up bin. It's a feather boa. Bow? Feather bow or boa? Feather boa. Feather, you know, you know, a feather thing. Yes, darling. She's going to look so adorable. Right? And there's probably feathers going everywhere. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I think that's my haul. That is absolutely my haul number two. So, I just want to say thank you if you stuck around to watch this haul. Thank you. I'm getting ready to run out of gas. And thank you for being my subscriber. And if you're not my subscriber, hit that button because tomorrow or today, it's depending on when you're watching this, we're giving away a huge Thanksgiving giveaway. So, go check out that video. Comment so you can be entered. And watch for that drawing tomorrow, Saturday, the 9th of November. Thank you guys for watching and leave me a comment. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Bye.